TV. I am your host Rajni Bharara, and today I have with me on our show a very special guest. Her name is Dr. Neha Khatoor. She is a, a gynecologist, and today on the show we are going to speak with her about UTI, which is urinary tract infection. So I am going to ask all the questions that you have in your mind regarding UTI to Dr. Neha. But before, let's welcome her to SQ TV. Hello, Dr. Neha. Welcome to SQ TV. Hello, Rajni. Thank you so much for giving this uh, me this opportunity, and I am very much excited to join the session. I mean, we are excited to have you, firstly. And now, uh, Dr. Neha, without wasting any time, you know, like I mentioned in the beginning, that uh, the today's topic of discussion is going to be UTI, which is urinary tract infection. So let's just discuss the discussion with my very first question. So, um, my first question to you, Dr. Neha, is if you can please talk about what actually is UTI. I mean, the full form of it is urinary tract infection. But what actually is urinary tract infection? If you can please explain it to our audiences. Okay. So yeah. everyone knows in common language, uh, urinary tract infections. We uh, call it as UTI. It is mm -hmm. the infection of the urinary tract. Um, urinary tract. It is uh, comprised of two kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Ureters, mm -hmm. what is their function? The function of ureter it is to bring the urine. Uh, it is a channel which bring the urine from kidney to the bladder, where it is stored. Mm -hmm. And when the threshold of bladder is reached, we feel the urge to urinate. And urethra, it is the opening of the bladder to the external. Mm -hmm. So this urination occurs. So anywhere, if there is any microbial invasion throughout this tract, anywhere, it causes the inflammation of the urinary tract and it can lead to urinary tract infection. The symptoms mm -hmm. which um, frequently we encounter uh, are uh, dysuria, that is the painful micturition, burning mm -hmm. urine micturition, supracubic pain, backache, mm -hmm. and uh, also frequency and urgency of micturition. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, Dr. Neha, the question is, when the burning happens, when the burning sensation happens and it feels like you want to pee, but, you know, the pee uh, or the toilet doesn't come out, it feels like you want to pee bad, you know, especially uh, it happens to the women. So, but because of the burning sen sensation, uh, it is unbearable at times. And I think most of the women have gone through it because of the hygiene problem in our country. So, um, so you know, because of the infection. So how do we treat that and what do we do to stop that burning sensation, if you can please you know, educate us about it? Yes, the common symptoms which a uh, patient complains of are uh, burning, maturation and dysuria. So burning is mm -hmm. very common. Um, mm -hmm. so, uh, one thing, uh, you should drink a lot of water. Matlab, plenty hydrate of, yourself. Yes, plenty of fluids. Uh, then... Um, uh, do not hold the urine for longer times and yeah. uh, please empty the bladder whenever you feel urge to urinate and also mm -hmm. avoid using the public toilets but whenever it is necessary we can't uh, avoid like working with yeah. or working in the office they have to use the common toilets so uh, practicing maintaining the hygiene it is of utmost importance to prevent mm -hmm. the UTI and for uh, uh, burning uh, if you feel any symptoms of UTI um, you should consult your doctor, but uh, meanwhile, you can uh, what you can do at home, uh, you can take plenty of fluids, you can uh, take uh, cranberry juices, and also mm -hmm. uh, urinary alkalizers, they are available in the market, chemist shop, uh, that uh, is the name of Alcazol, Citrusol, that you can take two to three times a day, uh, along with water, that can also mm -hmm. help to uh, relieve the burning micturition. Okay, okay. But uh, Dr. Neha, my question to you is also, you know, uh, if it happens, if this infection happens to you frequently, does it also cause, I mean, does it also have a consequence for the longer period? I mean, uh, does it like take a form of a bigger disease for the in the yes, longer sir. run? Yes, it can lead to the recurrent and chronic infection. So uh -huh. we should not ignore the symptoms of UTI. It is a uh, UTI we can divide into the upper urinary tract infection and lower urinary tract infection. So lower okay. urinary tract infection, it is uh, comprised of the bladder and the urethra. And mm -hmm. the upper urinary tract, it is comprised of the kidney and the ureters. 
So the mm-hmm. uh, mainly uh, more com- more common is the urethritis and the cystitis, which is seen more commonly in the patients, especially in the females. Uh, the females mm-hmm. they are very much predisposed to uh, acquiring urinary tract infection because the, there are two reasons. One mm-hmm. is the uh, urethritis shorter in the females, which is mm-hmm. a predisposing factor, and again the urethral opening it is in very very much close proximity to the uh, vagina and the anal opening so uh, mm-hmm. uh, it can get contaminated and uh, the infection it can go by ascending route to the urethra to the bladder and it can cause urethritis and cystitis uh, in which the patient feel dysuria burning uh, urgency frequency and patient feel that uh, very intense urge to urinate but when we uh, when uh, 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 she goes to uh, for passing urine um, mm-hmm. only few drops of urine comes out so these are the common okay. symptoms of uh, urethritis and cystitis mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. okay better in But, prevention yeah, yeah yeah please go ahead yes 